Hi, I'm Wolf from Facebook Reality Labs. I'm going to present our work on Electuring, a wearable device for pinch and touch detection. This is joint work with Eric Whitmire, Chris Rittaller, and Hervoya Benko. Increased user mobility requires new ways to interact with computers beyond touchscreens, mice, and keyboards. Chris Harrison introduced a promising paradigm in 2011 with OmniTouch. Using a projector and a Kinect depth camera, OmniTouch can turn any real-world surface, including the user's body, into a touchscreen. The effectiveness of this approach hinges on the system's ability to detect precisely when the user's finger is in contact with the uninstrumented surface. Unfortunately, from a first-person camera view, it is difficult to tell whether a finger is touching or just hovering. ActiTouch, presented in 2019, is a nice solution to the problem. It uses a wristband to couple an electrical signal to the user's body. A receiver circuit is integrated into a VR headset. When the user touches their opposite hand, an electrical path is formed that changes the strength of the signal arriving at the headset. This change in signal strength constitutes a touch event. With the electrical approach, ActiTouch can detect very subtle touch gestures with high accuracy. One drawback, however, is that it requires two points of instrumentation, a transmitter on the wrist and a receiver on the headset. We address this limitation with ElectroRing, our new finger-worn device that enables subtle touch detection on the user's body without a second point of instrumentation. ElectroRing uses the same active electrical approach as ActiTouch, but places the transmitter and receiver right next to each other, eliminating the need to wear a second device. Electoring effectively turns the user's fingertip into a highly sensitive instrument that can detect touch with any part of the user's body. The line graph in this video shows Electoring's raw sensor output as the user touches their palm. Note how touch states are clearly visible in the raw sensor output. The signal level during touch is about 25 dB volts or 18 times higher than the noise floor, which allows for robust touch segmentation even with just basic signal processing. This works on any part of the body, including the opposing thumb. In this video here, the user makes a pinch gesture with their thumb and index finger. And as in the previous example, touch states are clearly discernible in the raw sensor output. Electroring uses five skin electrodes. Starting from the base of the finger, the first two electrodes form the transmitter. They are driven with a 10 MHz 3.3 volt square wave. The middle electrode acts as a shield. It blocks the transmitted signal from coupling directly onto the two receive electrodes, which are located towards the fingertip. When the fingertip comes into contact with another part of the user's body, a signal path is formed, shown here as a blue line. The small current flow creates a differential voltage between the receive electrodes, which are placed along the path. This voltage difference, with some of amplification, is the raw output of our touch sensor. This figure shows Electroring's robustness to varying touch strength and its robustness to hand motion that is unrelated to touch. The blue graph shows the touch sensor output over time as a user performs six actions. The first three actions are pinches with decreasing strength. You can clearly see the touch signal even for the weakest third pinch, where the user's fingers are touching ever so slightly. At the same time, the user can perform much more vigorous actions that are not touches, such as tap the finger with a pencil, or wiggle the hand, or bump it on a table. The touch sensor remains quiet during these actions. To illustrate this further, here are corresponding outputs from an accelerometer and gyroscope placed on the ring. You can see the finger velocity and impact decreasing from the first to the third pinch, to the point where it's almost in the noise of the IMU signal. The touch signal, on the other hand, is largely unaffected. In contrast, the three distractor actions, like wiggling the hand, are quite vigorous in comparison, yet do not register in the touch sensor output. We built three application examples to highlight Electroring's effectiveness. The first one is drag and drop. Here, the IMU on the ring provides pitch and yaw angles for two-dimensional pointing. The user can drag and drop documents with a subtle pinch, hold, and release gesture. Electroring also provides robust pen up and pen down control in a drawing application, as shown in this example. Finally, here's a carousel, a carousel style date picker uh, with kinetic scrolling. The user can lightly brush the palm to drag the carousel position, quickly swipe to accelerate, or tap and hold to stop the carousel motion instantaneously and confidently. 
These demos provide a few examples of the type of interactions that the lecturing enables. For more details, please check out our paper.